Hi guys, my name is George, or you might know me as Wave Index. I'm a designer and visual artist, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you an absolutely crazy new feature in Adobe Illustrator called Generative Shape Fill. So what exactly is Generative Shape Fill? This is a brand new feature in Illustrator that allows you to accelerate your existing workflows by instantly adding stunning detailed vectors to shapes. This feature also allows you to create vectors that match the style and color of your existing artwork, resulting in a huge variety of unique vector graphics. So to show you the power of this feature, we're gonna look at a couple of different examples to show you how you can use Generative Shape Fill to take your vector graphics to the next level. So for this first example, I'm gonna show you how I turned my logo from this into these stunning vector graphics. So first, let's open up Adobe Illustrator. And I'm gonna use this project here, which is just a very simple social media graphic for my clothing brand. And now we can just select our vector shape come down here and click on this new generative shape fill option. And as you can see, we can now type in a prompt into this box here. And something I really love about this feature is it actually gives you recommendations for prompts that you can use while you're typing. And this is hugely helpful if you're new to creating prompts or you just need a little bit of extra inspiration. So for these graphics, I want to focus on the fact that my clothing brand uses natural organic materials. So let's type in something nature themed, hit generate, and you can see we now have an incredible detailed vector graphic within the shape. And up here you can also see that we get three different variations to choose from. And just to show you how powerful this feature really is, let's choose a different example for the prompt. So let's go for some natural scenery with epic mountains, and then we can just hit generate and just look at these variations. But now I actually wanna show you how we can take this one step further. So one of the coolest parts about this feature is you can actually use it to match the style and color of designs and artwork that you've already created. And let me show you what I mean by that. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag in one of my designs into Illustrator, and I'm actually going to use this image as a reference so that the vector graphic will have a similar style and color to this design. So to do this, we need to select our vector shape. And for this example, I'm gonna keep the same prompt, and now we need to open up this style reference panel. And now we just click this choose asset option, select the design that we want to use as our reference image, hit generate, and here is the vector graphic. And as you can see, it's matched the color scheme perfectly, and it's even recreated the style and visual aesthetic of the flowers. So this technique is a really cool way to speed up your workflow and also create graphics in your own unique style. So now let's move on to another example. So for this next example, I want to show you how we can create very simple shapes within Illustrator and then use those shapes to create stunning, completely unique vector graphics. So let's start by dragging in an image into Illustrator like this. And I want to use this image to create a poster for a summer collection for a clothing brand. And to create that summer theme, I want to create some blossoming flowers and other floral elements that will be growing around this guy in the middle. And I do also think that'll help to breathe some life into the poster as well. So to create the vector graphic, the first thing we're gonna do is create a very quick and simple shape like this. And now we can come down here and again, click on this new generative shape fill button. And let's just keep it simple. So let's type in blossoming flowers and floral elements. And for this one, I'm actually gonna come into this settings window. We're gonna come into this color and tones tab, and I'm gonna select this vibrant color preset. So now we just hit generate, and I think that looks absolutely incredible. And just before we create some more graphics to finish off this design, I want to show you some of the additional features for generative shape fill. So again, if we click this button here, it opens up this settings window. And you can see we have a ton of extra features in here that we can use to customize our vector graphics. For example, this shape strength control allows us to choose the strength of the vector graphic within the shape. So if we set this strength to tight, we're gonna get a result like this, where the graphic fits very tightly within the shape. And if we set this to loose, you can see that it only really uses the shape as a rough outline when creating the vector graphics. We also have this effects option here, which allows us to choose the visual effect that 
will be applied to the vector. So let's go for comic book, hit generate, and you can see it's completely changed the visual effect of the graphic, which is incredibly helpful if you're looking to create vectors in your own unique style. Okay, so now it's time to finish off this poster design. So let's create some more shapes around the subject like this, and I'm gonna set the strength setting to the middle, and I'm also gonna use the first vector graphic that we created as a reference asset, so that all the vectors that I now add to the image are in the same style and color scheme. And here is the final poster. So I'm really happy with how this one turned out, and I also created an alternative version of this poster using the same reference image from before. So let me know in the comments which one you prefer. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and if you haven't tried Generative Shape Fill yet, now might just be the perfect time.